Hello YouTube, Mr. Evans here with my vlog number 108. Today is Thursday and the time is 6.48. Uh, so I'm not getting out of here quite as early as I'd like to be, especially when you consider that I was really done with all of my major work like two hours ago. Um, but, you know, things come up. People ask for help with things, um, opportunities present themselves that I have to take advantage of. And a lot of times it's kind of like, you know, if I'm done with my work, um, I have a choice. I can get out of here early or I can stick around a little longer than I'd like and not have as much to worry about for the future. And so I guess I chose the second one in this case and that is just fine. Let me read uh, the wonder quote of the day. Um, oh, wait, I forgot to check in about the day first. Today was great. Um, we were reading today. Today was reading zone, and although issues cropped up, today I felt like I really handled them correctly. Um, and I got the support that I needed, and I really, I, I just feel really good about it. Um, especially, you know, reading zone days tend to be very difficult, um, because just re reading's hard, you know? Um, but today I kind of, I anticipated that. I thought it's the day, uh, last reading day before uh, we go on break. Um, I am going to take it easy on some of these classes. And so we did the uh, five and ten is what I guess I want to call it. Read for five and then watch the, the, the text story videos for ten. Um, which, you know, each one of those is about ten minutes. So it just kind of worked out very well. Uh, and yeah. I'm, I'm just pleased. Uh, I think today went really well. Um, and now I'm going to read the wonder quote of the day because it plays into, I think, pretty well uh, what I want to talk about, even though it's very cheesy. Be beautiful, but it's be you tiful. I'm covering the one for tomorrow. Um, which is what I want to talk about today because I want to address an issue. Uh, not an issue, but just, I, I guess, sort of a concern that I have about these vlogs. Um, I, I realized yesterday, you know, I, I made it my mission to not just be negative and to not just tell you about bad experiences. Um, and I think I have kept to that, but at the same time, I wonder if some of the messages I'm telling you about, um, seen in the wrong context, might be taken as negative, um, especially yesterday's vlog where I was sort of talking about, you know, am I the right caring adult, um, the one that's going to be effective for this student? Um, and should I try to be if it appears that the answer is no? Uh, again, you know, I think seen in the wrong context, that can be seen as, as uh, giving up. And I just want to go ahead and address really quickly that Thoughts like this do crop up. Um, things that you see them and, you, and, and you, know, you know, I think as teachers, we, we have this image where we're, we're supposed to be beacons of positivity and just never give up, you know? Um, but these vlogs have always been about being beautiful, you know? <laughs> being myself, showing you what's going on underneath it. And so even though I don't want to get, well, you know, I think there's two reasons I don't want to get negative on these vlogs anymore, uh, which, first of all, it's not that I want to be dishonest, um, but there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a positive way of looking at things, and I think that um, there are days where it feels like it's the end of the world, I can't go on anymore, um, but... I do go on, of course, and I think that if you watch that vlog, you might think that I wasn't going to. Um, that that had to be the end of, of uh, what was happening, and you know, maybe it's better to look at how do we push past these feelings? How am I going to continue to try my best? Um, and the other reason that I don't want to get so negative on here anymore is uh, that, you know, since I've been... How do I put this? These vlogs are also for my own emotional health. They help me to process what was happening during the day. And um, when I allow myself to dwell on the negativity of the day in these vlogs, I find that I'm 
not as happy. And so, I don't know, maybe staying a little more positive is going to be good for both of us. Um, but I also want to be honest. I want to be truthful. And, you know, different, different thoughts come up on, on different days. And sometimes we look at, like, how much harder can I push myself? Um, and some days we look at how can I step back and be gentle with myself? And so um, I do hope that as a viewer of these vlogs, you, you understand that there will be some episodes, episodes? I don't know, whatever. Um, there will be some vlog episodes uh, where the tone I take is more about what do I say to take care of myself? What do I say to be easy on myself? And when that happens, um, I hope that you understand that it's not me failing to do my job. It's not me saying I have given up. It's not me saying uh, anything that would make me not a good teacher. It's just me saying this is where I am process-wise right now. This is how I'm processing the events of today. Um, so... That's just something that I, that I wanted to clear up. It, it's just in the interest of me being honest. I've never, I've, well clearly, I've never had a day that's made me quit. Because I've never quit. Um, but I have had days that make me feel like I want to, you know? We've all had those days. Uh, not just all teachers, all people, anyone who has a job has wanted to quit at some point, or felt like they wanted to quit at some point, but something pushes them past it, right? And so I think that if you see a vlog that you think, wow, this is really wrong, he's talking in a very negative way, and he's talking about the students as though he doesn't care, he doesn't believe in them, um, which I hope that you won't see any vlogs like that, but you might see some that, that call into question my, my competence and just please understand that that's just the current state of where I am process-wise. Um, rewind the clock and you'll see something different. Fast forward the clock. Fast forward the clock? Is that a thing? I don't know. Um, and you'll see something different. Uh, it's just that, you know, you, you never know what state any of us are going to be in at the end of any given day. Um, this is something that, you know, I was talking to my therapist about on the phone uh, yesterday uh, because his, he, what he's been saying kind of for a while now is like, let's continue these sessions. We're going to continue meeting, but um, it sounds like you're already kind of doing everything that you can do to take care of your mental health. And I think that that's true, but anything can change. The stuff we deal with does affect us. And so that's the reason I said, like, but I want to continue having these sessions with you because I want to be sure that it stays that way. And I want to be sure that um, there doesn't come a situation that affects me too heavily, that I don't know how to process it afterwards. Um, so, yeah, I, I hope that that cleared things up. Um, and I hope that if any messages do come across that seem a little bit off, just please understand that they are a part of a larger picture. Um, any given day is a part of a larger picture, you know. That's why school students have to go to school for, I guess, really 13 years if you count kindergarten. Because one year's not going to do it. One moment's not going to do it. You build and you build and you build. And it's the same thing with, with any given day. One little day um, is just part of a whole long story. Um, a story that for me has been going on for... Uh, Five years now, yeah. And I'm looking forward to seeing where the great chapters are, seeing where the bad chapters are. Well, maybe I'm not looking forward to seeing that part, but you know that it always does happen in books. There's always a part where the book that makes you go, no! I probably have that part of my story as well. Um, you know, maybe the inspirational part um, is set several years in the future, which, I already read that to you guys, didn't I? That was a great quote. Yeah, the inspirational movie about my life may be set way in the future, but I'm going to keep plugging away, and um, I'm going to keep dealing with uh, these, these, uh, these feelings and these emotions as they, 
as they come up, and I'm glad to have you along for the ride. Let me tell you the three things that made me smile today. There were many more things than three that made me smile. There were a lot of good moments, but one of them uh, was, you know, I always like it when students sort of catch me off guard. Um, in this particular instance, there was a student who, you know, he was reading his book, but he's got the, the side up like this. And I look over and he's gonna like turn to his friend and as he turns, I see him slip something into his book and then turn and talk to his friend and I realize he's on his phone. He's not actually reading. He's using this as a shield, he's on his phone. Um, which students do, but I didn't think that I was gonna ever have that problem with this student, so it was a little frustrating that I was gonna have to walk over and take it from him, you know? Um, and then he turns away from his friend and he opens the book back up and it turns out it was just a pencil. He had um, just been trying to keep his place in the book. It made me feel like so, like, wow, okay. Yeah, I underestimated <laughs> that student, which is nice, you know, it's always better to be able to have your expectations uh, exceeded. Um, yeah, there was, uh, the second thing that made me smile was this student who just came in very like high energy, not bouncing off the walls energy, but like a positive energy. He was like a plane when he came in. That's what, that, that, that was the actual noise he made, by the way. He came in, and he gets in, and it's always just like, you know, maybe he wasn't doing that for me, Maybe that was just something he felt like doing, and it was coincidental that he was doing it as he was walking into my class. But at the same time, my class didn't do anything to dampen his, his, uh, his, his positive mood, and that's something. And it was actually, it's really funny, um, when the warning bell rang, uh, which is a minute before the final bell for class, a student goes to shut the door, and I said, don't, please do not shut my door, open that back up. And he, <laughs> like, goes off goes off on the kid, just like, what are you doing closing the door? What are you talking about? You're not supposed to be closing it yet. It was just like, I don't know, it always makes me happy when a student is, uh, has, has the same, you know, they're on board with whatever I'm expressing, you know. Uh, and the last thing with, was, um, like I said, um, there were issues that cropped up, but I think I dealt with them correctly. The thing I didn't tell you is I did not deal with them alone. I reached out for support, and the support I got was... I think very often I uh, pull in other resources or other people to uh, help support uh, a student or a group of students. Um, and then it, it very rarely goes as I, as I want it to, you know, so often it's like, yeah, okay, I, this person talked to the student, but I don't think there's really going to be any change. Um, that was not the case today. These people who supported me, they knocked it out of the park. It, it, it's, it's so amazing to see, like, yes, this is how the system is supposed to work. I have a problem, I'm not gonna deal with it alone, I'm gonna have other people help me, and then it actually works. Um, so, yeah, those are the three things that made me uh, smile today. And that last one, you know, I'm always appreciative of my uh, colleagues and uh, other community, people who are in the community that are supportive, um, because I don't think any of us should have to do this job alone. Um, and I hope that we really will be there for, for one another. Uh, I think that's where I will end this vlog, YouTube, so thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and you, uh, I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, YouTube!